Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. We got another EDC trick. That means everyday carry. Another everyday carry from Paul Carnazzo. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know I love me the everyday carries. I love stuff that I can just stick in my wallet and out the door, ready to go. Because I have yet to find that one amazing, all-inclusive magic wallet that not only does a trick I like and want to perform, but also holds all my cards. I mean, I do carry Quiver. I mean, that is, that is really my everyday carry. And Quiver is a card to wallet. It is. But in order to do card to wallet, you need cards, <laughs> right? It doesn't, do a, it doesn't do a trick all by itself. So I have to carry this and a deck. But Quiver is my uh, everyday carry wallet because it has the most pockets. It has the most pockets and it works the best for me. Uh, but I'm always looking for something I can stick in the wallet so that if I don't have a deck of cards on me and someone says, hey, do a trick, I can open my wallet and just pull out a card or two and do a trick with that. And what I love about Mental Voyage, what I love about Paul Carnasso is he is really good at sticking one or two or three little effects onto a little single PVC card so that you can just take it with you everywhere. And the, the different ones he sells, like go to Mental Voyage, go, go look, go look at his page. The, the ones he sells, they don't, they're not all similar. They're not just all variations on a theme. Each one is very creative. Uh, and that brings us to today. So today we're looking at Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver is a black card and on the card are 15 dream images. So uh, 15 things that a lot of us have had dreams about, either as a, a waking uh, dream where you daydream, like, oh, wouldn't it be great to win a lot of money, right? Or wouldn't it be great to go out on a date with that guy or that girl, right? Or uh, they could be for a dream walk. You know, you have your spectator close their eyes and they do a mental dream walk where they walk through a dream. So 15 different images. And then uh, you have them go through the card. There's two sides to it. I'll just tell you how the trick goes. So there's two sides to the card and there's 15 items, right? 15 items. And they're gonna select an item just by going back and forth and saying, okay, I got one, right? So let's say they pick money. They pick money and uh, you, you have them look at one of the sides and there's four different colors. There's red, white, yellow, green, I think. And you just ask them, you know, is it in the first column? Is it in the second column? Is it in the third column? Is it in the fourth column? And sometimes it's not on the front, sometimes it's on the back, right? They can turn the card over and look if they want to. The, the both sides of the card are in play. And by the time you get to the end, then you just tell them exactly what they were thinking about. You'll know after they go through those four columns what dream image they were merely thinking of. All right, so a couple questions. Uh, is it what I thought? I mean, similar. It's a similar trick to the, the cards, you know, that had the multiple numbers on them. And you say, pick a number between one and 100, and they pick, you know, 20. And then you say, is your number on that card? 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 Similar to that, but way more dressed up and way more disguised, right? So they wouldn't even think that math was involved. And math is involved in this, it is, but you're not counting to a, a really high number, you're not. Um, there is no crib on the card, so you will have to learn the math that's associated with the columns, okay? And you'll have to learn the peg system that uh, relates to the 15 items. So just to give you an idea, let's say you go through the math and you've gone through the end and the number you're now thinking of is 11. Well, you have to know a peg system that'll relate 11 to the object that they're thinking of. So that means you have to memorize 15 peg systems. So numbers one to 15, you'll have to associate a way to get yourself from the number to the image that they're looking at. And Paul does give you a very simple, very easy to remember peg system, but of course you could use your own. Is it well-made? It's nice, a little PVC card, it'll fit right in your wallet. It's a single card, 
take it with you anywhere. It can totally be inspected. It can totally be examined. The spectator is never going to look at the card and say, oh, well, here's your number system or here's your, there's nothing on the card at all that would give this trick away. As far as what he's going to teach you, let's say you pay your $25, right? You pay 25 bucks to Mental Voyage. You're going to get the PVC plastic card. You're going to get a 22 page PDF. So the PDF is going to walk you through all the pattern and all the math that you need to learn and the peg system, of course, to do the trick. And let me just make something clear, okay? This uh, trick is, it's created so well that of the 15 items, of course, there's no force. They can select any one. And the routine is so beautiful that as you hand the card to the spectator, you guide them through the columns, right? You say red column, white column, yellow, green. But that's it. You don't ask them if their uh, list, you don't ask them if their selection is in that list. You don't ask them any questions, ever. So you're just, you're just guiding them. You're just saying, look in the red list, look in the white list, yellow, green, you know, just going through the colors. But you don't ask them, is it in that list? And that's key, okay, that's key. Because afterwards you're gonna be able to say, I let you pick any one of the dream items. I didn't ask you any questions. You didn't give anything away, right? There's no progressive anagrams, there's no fishing, there's no instant stooges, there's no dual reality. It works with one person, just as many, just as much as it would work with multiple people. So there's no setup, there's no reset. It's just a card, it's ready to go, um, yeah. So positives wise, it's a great little EDC and it has a premise that's not exactly a, you know, you pick an item and then I show you that I predicted you would pick that item, right? Which is how a lot of mentalism goes. You know, it's just a prediction. This is something that you can frame with a story about dreams, right? And everyone's had a dream and we all understand either uh, a dream you have at night or a daydream, something that you wish for, like a wish, right? You can make it a wish card. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of great ways to go routine wise. Now negatives, it's math. I am not great at math, especially math on the fly. Um, but uh, I did this a couple of times just, you know, on myself, just picking different things. And the math actually came pretty quick to me. It did. So I, I, that was nice. I think the peg system would be the most difficult part of this for someone who is casually doing this. You know, if you just casually do this, you don't, you don't do it a lot, then I would think that you wouldn't have that memory of what the 15 items were. So I think if this goes in your wallet as an everyday carry, make sure you're doing it once or twice a day, just so that that peg system stays fresh in your mind the first couple times, because I think it's like you have to do something 30 to 40 times before you memorize it. <laughs> yeah. So that's where your memorization takes place after the 30th or 40th performance. So uh, that, that it stays in your permanent memory. I should point that out too, that it stays in your permanent memory. Um, so yeah, g getting that peg system down and the math, I think is the hardest uh, part of the whole trick. But if that doesn't scare you off, then I think it's a great, great little trick, great little EDC for 25 bucks. All right, that's everything I can say. That's the end of my review. Of course, I'd like you to hit like, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm trying to get to 50K subscribers this year. That's the goal. That's the dream. That's, that's, that's my dream. That, that, that would be the dream that I would pick off of my dream card, 50,000 subscribers. That's where I'm headed. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Of course, I wanna thank Paul Carnazzo and mentalvoyage.com for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right, I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces 
that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.